Obi-Wan Kenobi was a legendary false-sensitive human male Jedi Master who served in the Jedi High Council during the final years of the Republic era. As a Jedi General, Kenobi served in the Grand Army of the Republic that fought against the separate destroyed army during the Clone Wars. Kenobi, however, was forced into exile as a result of the Great Jedi Purge known as Order 66. As a mentor, Kenobi was responsible for training two members of the Skywalker family, Anakin and Luke Skywalker, both of whom served in turn as his Padawa in the ways of the Force. Kenobi was born on the planet Stojom in 57 BBY. He was a Force sensitive and therefore taken from his family and inducted to, into the Jedi Order as a child. Raised in the Jedi Temple on the planet Coruscant, Kenobi was assigned to Jedi Master Qui-Gon Jinn in 32 BBY. Kenobi attained the rank of Jedi Knight by defeating the Sith Lord Darth Maul during the invasion of Naboo. He also chose to train Anakin Skywalker, the prophesied Chosen One, who was destined to destroy the Sith and restore balance to the Force. Having promised Jin, who died in the lightsaber duel against Maul, with an advent of the Clone Wars in 22 BBY, Kenobi adopted the military rank of High Jedi General in the Grand Army of the Galactic Republic and was given command to the Open Circle Fleet, 3rd System Army and the 7th Sky Corps. The Marshal Commander CC-2224-30 serves as his second command throughout the galaxy wide conflict. With their forces achieving multiple victories over the Confederacy of Independent Systems in the midst of the war, his old enemy Maul re-emerged into galactic affairs, bending in revenge against Kenobi for his deliberating defeat decades prior. Though they clashed in heated duels on multiple occasions, Maul failed to end Kenobi's life or cripple his spirit, despite murdering his former love, Duchess Satine Kreese of Mandalore. In 19 BBY, Kenobi killed the Separatist Supreme Chancellor, General Grievous, which is the commander of the Separatist Battle Droid Army during the Battle of Udapal, effectively ending the Clone Wars. He later survived the initial onslaught of the Jedi Purge against the Jedi Order, which resulted in the machinations of the Sith Lord Darth Sidious. After discovering that Skywalker has turned to the dark side of the Force, becoming Sith Sidious Sith Apprentice under the name of Darth Vader. Kenobi defeated his former Padawan on Mustafar and exiled himself on the Outer Rim planet Tatooine. As the Galactic Empire rose to power, adopted hermit lifestyle as Ben Kenobi, he watched Vader and Senator Padme Amidala's son, Luke. Ten years later, Kenobi left exile to rescue Leia Organa, Luke's twin sister, and was pursued by the Empire's Inquisitorious and Vader himself. Later, Kenobi was hunted down once again by Maul, whom he finally slew to protect the young Luke. Kenobi began the boys' Jedi training in Zero BBY and soon encountered Vader on board the first Death Star. 
where he sacrificed himself to ensure that Luke and his allies escaped from Sith Lord. In death, Kenobi became one with the Force, which allowed him to continue guiding Luke throughout the Galactic Civil War in 4 ABY. Kenobi reunited with his former student, Anakin Skywalker, who died destroying the Sith Master, in order to save his son. Kenobi was remembered as a legendary Jedi Master during the rise of the New Republic. Ben Solo, the son of Luke's twin sister, Princess, now of course General Organa, was named after Kenobi. Solo's turn to the dark side left Luke disillusioned with the Jedi Order's legacy, and he held Kenobi as responsible for Anakin's transformation into Vader. However, Luke's faith will eventually be restored with the aid of Darth Sidious' granddaughter, Rey, who, whom Kenobi would lend his voice and strength in the final battle and victory against her resurrected ancestor on Exegol in 35. Please like, share and subscribe to William Scrib 91 and hopefully for many more. Thank you very much for watching and may the force be with you, always. Victory in the Clone Wars, but victory for all time.